have you ever used ChatGPT? It is an amazing tool for generating content, writing code, and even handling all your queries, whatever you will have in different fields. But did you know that you can create your own custom version of GPT within the ChatGPT platform? Imagine having a GPT tailored specifically to your unique tasks and needs. In this video, we'll dive into how you can build your own personalized GPT and explore the incredible things you can achieve with it. Get ready to unlock the full potential of ChatGPT and see how it can transform the way you work and create. If you want to know more about ChatGPT, our full tutorial on ChatGPT is available on our channel. You can go and check it out. First, let's break down GPT, Generative Pre-Trained Transformer, in simple terms. Imagine teaching a friend to write stories. You would first give them tons of books to read, right? That's exactly what we do with GPT. We feed it a huge amount of text from books, articles and websites. This is called pre-training. During pre-training, GPT learns the basics of language, that is grammar, sentence structure and even some facts about the world. It's like the AI is soaking up all this knowledge. GPT is built using a special architecture called a transformer, specifically the decoder part of the transformer. This structure is really good at understanding the context of the words. For example, it knows the difference between apple the fruit and apple the company based on the surrounding words. The transformer decoder has layers. Imagine a sandwich. Each layer processes information and passes it to the next layer, getting more refined with each step. This helps GPT understand and generate human-like text. Now, when you give GPT a prompt like once upon a time, it uses everything it learned to predict and generate the next part of the story, one word at a time. It's like a super smart autocomplete. You can use GPT for a lot of cool things. Writing essays, coding help, creating content, and even chatting with virtual assistants. I hope you are excited to start experimenting with the exciting existing GPTs in ChatGPT and even create your own customized GPT on the platform. Imagine having a tool designed specifically to provide you with personalized and professional insights. So, this is your ChatGPT platform. Now, this is your input and when you write here any prompt, it will give you the response. And here you can see the versions wherever, whatever versions you can use. GPT 3.5, GPT 4, GPT 4.0. However, we are here to see how in ChatGPT we can create our own custom GPTs. First, let's explore various different GPTs. Now there is Explore GPTs option. You click on that and you will see this on your screen. Now, here is a search bar where you can search different GPTs, whatever you want to search. For example, you want to search something on data science. You write data science and it will give you different options. What do you want to do? These are different data science GPTs which are already custom built for you to use. So if you click on data science and create a data science GPT, it will give you an expert for data analysis and visualization. You can provide a data set, whatever custom data set you want to provide and ask relevant questions for data analysis and visualization, exploratory data analysis, outlier detection, etc, etc. 
However, before jumping on to that, let's see what are the different types of GPTs ChatGPT offers. Now, if you see here, these are the top picks. What it has told you, Mermaid Chat, that is an official GPT for Mermaid team, generating Mermaid diagrams or chart for text. There is SciSpace, there is landing page creator for from HubSpot, there is SQL expert, which will give you optimization and queries for your database. Now, there are different fields in which ChatGPT gives you custom GPTs, that is writing, productivity, writing may you have write for me, which is tailored for engaging, for creating engaging content with focus on quality, relevance and precise word count. You can give that, okay, in this number of words, give me a simplified version of some topic or some concept that you want to understand and write this for me in a blog format or in an article format or in a book format, right? Humanize AI, generate a text to video maker, an innovative video maker bot that creates and edits dynamic videos with voiceovers using AI powered tool. Okay, then there are copywriter GPT. There is for marketing and branding and ads, right? Then you can have, you can go to productivity. Productivity has Canva, diagrams for uh, your presentations, which can create diagrams for your presentations. There are slides, GPT for creating your PowerPoint presentations. You give the content and it will give you presentations which you can export in PowerPoint format, Google slide format or PDF format, whatever format you want. Then there is Image Generator Pro, the powerful image generation uh, tool for you or GPT for you. Then there is Video GPT by Veed. There is Canva. Then next is Research and Analysis. In Research and Analysis, you have Scholar GPT, Scholar AI, then SciSpace, Excel GPT, these things you can explore and you can see how they have been performing because if they have been performing, either they would be on topics or trending section. Then you have education. In education, you have mathematics solver, tutor. Then you have diagram creators, universal primer, the fastest way to learn, like it can tutor you, right? So everything and it gives you from where it has come like for example tutor me is by khan academy okay and previously we saw video gpt by weed right so it gives you by uh, whom this has been created by whom like for example diagram diagram uh, has been by helpful.dev canva is by canva.com so it features ChatGPT features GPTs from various different platforms, various different organizations who wants to offer an integration with ChatGPT. Then you have lifestyle. You have astrology and lifestyle, travel guide, gaming. Then you have in programming, you have Code Copilot, which helps you with programming. You can learn Python with Python GPT. You can have website generator. This is a GPT for creating website for you. Then there is a code GPT which helps you with Python, Java, C, HTML, SQL, JavaScript, React, all these programming languages. Then you have XQL expert and many more. So these are the custom GPTs which are already there in your chat GPT platform and you can use them based on whatever model GPT model that you are using. But let's now first diving before diving into creating your own custom GPT. Let's quickly check one custom GPT from chat GPT. Okay, so let's do data science, which specializes in which is by Oracle and is an expert or specializes in data analysis and visualization. So we create a data science GPT and it gives you the rating also from which category it has been taken. There are how many conversations and what is the rating for this and what are the conversation starters? Conversation starters means 
it will give you suggestions when you talk or when you prompt your gpt it will give you suggestions okay how you can start your conversation or how you can continue and it gives you the capabilities it has browsing capabilities it has dali llm which for images and code interpreter and data analysis tool which is an integration with chat gpt and the ratings right so let's start now it has created a similar chat okay but your gpt is data science so let's start analyzing some data we have picked titanic data set from kaggle for this activity so i load my titanic data set here and write a prompt check the data for missing values and give python code for the same because when you first load a data you first of all see are there any missing values you do data pre processing and in data pre processing the first step is seeing if your data has missing values or not so we enter this so what does it do it gives you okay these are your columns in your data set and which are passenger id class name the gender the age etc and it gives you data set contains missing values for following columns how many columns three columns age cabin and embarked how many values age has 177 missing values cabin has 687 missing values embarked has two missing values how to do the coding for this if you want to implement on your local for the same you can copy paste the same code where it imports pandas library gives the file path you can give the file path read csv you can read csv from this uh, python function then in missing values it will do is null dot sum function will give you all the missing values now this is your code for missing values for titanic data set before going on to our next it gives you already gives you a prompt can you visualize the missing data or you can go to how to handle these missing values so click on it how to handle these missing values so it will give you you can drop your missing values you can impute your missing values you can use predictive imputation right and it will it is giving you all the codes that okay if you want to drop if you want to impute if you want to do predictive imputation so all these things are given and prompted by your gpt however if you see your chat gpt it is more towards generic but this gpt custom gpt that is data science gpt is customized for you for your specific data or for your specific task that's why it asks you specific things or you can give specific prompts related to your data now show the updated data set in the table tableau format or visualize age distribution whatever you want to do or you can give your own thing that pre process the data but we have already pre processed the data that we have imputed the missing values you can do visualization let's click on visualization it will give you a distribution you know analyzing and gives you an age distribution because based on the data it would have seen that age as a factor for titanic data set holds much more value than other features in your data set now survival rate now visualize we can do any visualization but it says analyze survival rates by passenger class you can go on because it will give you based on your data supposing i just want to switch to cut to the end that okay i want to build a predictive model that answers the question what sorts of people were more likely to survive 
using passenger data okay i give this and it builds on the same that okay do pre processing do feature selection do model training do evaluation and then it gives that okay titanic data set th- these are the steps however here it missed that you have already built on it that okay you have done the missing values you have dropped you have impute imputed and you want to continue you have uh, visualized you want to continue that context is lost and you can give that feedback to your custom gpt that okay these are the things that got missed and these were i wanted to continue with the conversation that was i was having the context should be the same however thankfully that the gpt picked up the same that okay pre process your data in that handle missing values convert categorical values into numeric standardize or normalize the data then there is feature selection model training model evaluation and it is giving you the python code because the first prompt we said please give the python code if you do not give the prompt that you want some type of code out of it any language it will not give you okay so this is taking context from the first prompt that we gave now you have all the codes and you can execute that which is performing for you and it has given the explanation as well that you have missing values for these these were the categorical variables that were converted to numerical now selected features were these model training splitting uh, was done and logistic regression as a model was applied and you have the accuracy ROC and AUC score ROC curve is po- plotted to visualize the performance okay so all these things are given as a code however you are not seeing the result you can ask that for example on what basis did the feature selection happen or what was the split ratio however you can see the split ratio you can ask why this split ratio why it was divided into 80 20 ratio why not 70 30 right and you can have these interactions and say that okay logistic regression may not work for this data set can we try some other uh, model it can be random forest it can be naive bias right so test out this is one of the custom gpt that chat gpt provides for you okay now let's go and check how to create your own gpt i clicked on explore gpt and if you see here apart from your gpts here the custom gpts that chat gpt provides you have a create option right you can click on create and next thing you know you have this screen where you are creating or configuring your new gpt where you give the name you give the features all these things that you want to do okay in create option you can interact with chat gpt where it asks you a series of questions like how may i help you and it is asking you that you want to make creative uh, you know uh, something like make a creative uh, who helps generate visuals for new products or you want to make a software engineer who helps you format uh, your code what do you want to do you can do this as in a interactive format or if you have a direction in your mind you can just put all the details what is the name of the new gpt you want to create what is the description what are the instructions that it should follow what are the conversation starter that you saw right it is optional you want to keep you keep the knowledge you you can upload and what are the capabilities you want to e- include in that right so all these things if you have a correct direction you can directly fill it but if you do not have correct direction you have just overall an idea what to do and you know how to you know what to create then you can have a conversation and based on your conversation the chat gpt this feature of chat gpt it updates your configure part so here we would be creating a sports pro analytics gpt which analyzes which would analyze all things for your 
favorite sport be it cricket be it football whatever data you provide now i want to create based on cricket so i have a description that sports pro analytics interprets player performance data generates statistical analysis and offers insight on team strategies it predicts game outcomes evaluates player fitness and optimizes training regimes additionally it provides detailed breakdowns of game plays and performance metrics so whatever sport you are fond of it can break down everything for you from player performance to prediction of your next game it is an exciting tool for you so i have created the description the instructions for this already so the instructions my instructions have what does this gpt do how does it behave what should it avoid doing i have all these things already listed it down so i'll just copy paste and give it okay that what does it do player analysis i'll you know i'm telling team strategy insights whatever i have given i have given in bullet pointers okay for this player uh, performance what needs to be done for team strategy insights what needs to be done what does not need to be done all these things i have given that okay now data your analytics should have data driven approach so all these do's and don'ts i have given as an instruction already now as my knowledge i do not want to do a conversation starter you can keep any conversation starter you can uh, put as analyze your uh, player performance for example uh, you can keep analyze player performance okay you can do anything check who will win for example anything but i want i have a data right now on cricket i want this gpt my custom gpt to be trained on that data okay i'll upload all my data cricket match data player data team data fan data okay based on fan based on uh, team performance based on player performance what was the performance what was the match i'll upload that let me show you this data as well for example your cricket team data has random like india australia england and new zealand how many matches it has that team has played how many wins how many losers how many draws what were the score what were the runs what were the wickets what is the economy rate what is the run rate right so like this we have four different data sets with random small data sets that i am training it on so let's go down and see the capabilities ideally your code interpreter and data analysis is not ticked on you can tick on uh, code interpreter and uh, analysis then we have create new action when you click on this this is for if you want to have your gpt custom gpt involved with a database or schema or a website to be integrated with that you can add the authentication you can add the schema you can import the url however you want to do for this we are not doing this action for additional it will ask you use conversation data in your gpt to improve our models that you tick on right because it will improve your gpt now if you want to test it out you can message and test it out if you want to directly create create however i would suggest you to test it out first on your preview because you have a preview here you can see as you write all these details you will see this preview getting updated so let me ask it the first prompt that analyze the performance of virat kohli in the last 5 matches and it will analyze it will first go analyze the data that you have we have provided the knowledge and then it will give the analysis 
that okay virat kohli has played these many uh, matches he has scored these many runs this is the batting average this is his strike rate these are the catches okay now it asks you would you like a detailed analysis or visual representation of any specific aspect of this data it will give you compare with his career averages show based on your data you can analyze and go on with that let's do some other prompts as well so as it gives strategies we ask what has been india's key to success in last 5 matches for example so it gives you what has been the run rate what has been matches played wickets taken economy rate and it gives you the total okay in the similar way you can analyze ask for strategies that okay australia what has been the key strategy for australia it will analyze the data for you because you are providing numerical data it will give you analysis so that's why it's called sports pro analytics and by creating by clicking the create button you will create this gpt and you can going forward you can edit it if you have more data you can put more data on it and uh, as a knowledge base you can put more data you can play around it and it will give you who will win who is going to win in upcoming matches based on what data you have provided this was all for your demo on how you can create your own gpt custom gpt i hope this was only a sports pro analytics or analytics based on analytics however you can be more creative with your custom gpts based on your requirements you can do branding you can do campaigns gpt you can explore how much and however you want but the knowledge that you provide the description that you provide the instruction set what the chat gpt should do what it should not do all these things how you configure your gpt plays a very important role how your gpt performs for your specialized task thanks for staying with us throughout this video i hope you understood what gpts are and how they work like share and subscribe to our channel for more such ai insights